Okay, some of my students have been asking me about mathematical angles and navigation angles, what we sometimes call a heading, and converting between one and the other. And so that's what these videos are about. The, these are some examples right here. In this case, we're converting from a, a navigational heading to a mathematical angle. And example one says a heading of 22 degrees corresponds to what standard mathematical angle? So a heading of 22 degrees, that means 22 degrees clockwise from north. So about that far. So in other words, this direction, that's your heading. And that's a 22 degree angle. The question is, what is the standard mathematical angle? Well, that would be this. The standard mathematical angle starts here on the x-axis, and the x-axis, remember, is straight to the right, starts there and rotates counterclockwise. So this angle here is going to just be 90 minus 22. You can see that these two have to add up to 90 because those two together fit right there in the quadrant, right angle. So 90 minus 22, that's easy. If you can't do it in your head, you can just pull out the calculator and that comes out to 68 degrees. Okay, that's example one. For example two, I'm just going to change the number. Example two is 130 degrees. A heading of 130 degrees corresponds to what standard mathematical angle? Well, 130 degrees is about here. I'm going to do one example in each quadrant. 130 degrees is 130 degrees rotating clockwise from north. We want to know the mathematical angle. That would be counterclockwise from the x-axis. That, how many degrees is that? That's what we're looking for. And in problems like these, it helps to find this little angle right here. Take whatever vector or whatever direction you have and think about the angle that it makes with the x-axis. And we sometimes call that a reference angle. Well, if this is 130, that's given, and this is 90, we know that's 90 because that's a right angle. Then this has to be 130 minus 90. So our little reference angle here is going to be 130 minus 90. That's 40 degrees. So this angle here, that, or that direction right there, is 40 degrees below the x-axis, or 40 degrees south of east. So we want to find out what standard mathematical angle that is. So in other words, we're looking for this. Start here and rotate around this way. Well, if we went all the way around, that would be 360. But we're doing that, but we're stopping this far short of a complete rotation. And that's 40 degrees, 40 degrees short of a complete rotation. So we can find that by just doing 360, that's a full rotation, minus 40. That's 40 degrees short of a complete rotation. And 360 minus 40 is 300, 320 degrees. And that's the answer. This much rotation right here is 320 degrees. Okay, for example, 3, I'm going to say a heading of 243 degrees corresponds to what standard mathematical angle? Well, 243 degrees is about here. That's 243 degrees clockwise from north. Now let's find this little angle here, what we would call the reference angle. And to do that, imagine this. If I went from north all the way around there, that's, remember, counting by 90s, that would be 90, 180, 270. Directly west is 270 degrees, so this is 270, but if instead if I stop here, I'm stopping just short of 270, and that's 243. That's given. So this angle right here is going to be the 270 minus that 243. So let's calculate that. 270 minus 243, and that's 27 degrees. So, so that's my reference angle there. That's 27 degrees below the west or below the x-axis. So what mathematical angle is that? Well the mathematical angle starts here and is that many degrees. 
So you should be able to see that that's 180, half a circle, and then we have to go 27 more to get to there. So my answer is just going to be 180 plus 27, and that's 207 degrees. That's the, that's the answer. And now notice we subtracted here from 270 and then we added to 180. There's no set rule. Well, do, we, do we always subtract from this or add to that? There's not a set rule. rule. You just think it through each time. And a diagram like this is really, really helpful. Draw a little diagram and you can see that 243 degrees is about there. And then you calculate this little angle that that makes with the x-axis, the reference angle. And then you can see that if we go 180, then we need to go that much further, 27 degrees further, in addition to the 180, and that gives us our answer. So my point there is to say, rather than memorizing rules about what to do, is simply understand what a standard angle is and what a navigational heading is. And then whether you add or subtract this or that should be clear. And a diagram often helps make that clear. Okay, let's do one more. The example four, uh, a heading of 311 degrees corresponds to what standard mathematical angle? Well, 311 degrees is going to be about there. Something like that. That's 311 degrees. That means this, this much rotation would be 311 degrees. Okay, well, let's figure this. Well, if I rotate 90, 180, that's 270. So this angle right here, my reference angle, is going to be 311 minus 270. Let's see that. Watch this. That's 311. And then if I were to take away 270, what's left is that. So this angle right here is going to be 311 minus 270. And 311 minus 270 is 41 degrees. So that's my reference angle, 41 degrees. And I want to know the standard mathematical angle. So what is this? Starting over here on my x-axis, rotate around to there. Well, if I rotated all the way over there, that would be 180. But instead of going all the way 180, I'm not doing this last 41 degrees. So my answer is going to be 180 minus 41. And 180 minus 41 comes out to 139 degrees. So this rotation here is 139 degrees. Or we say this direction is a standard mathematical angle of 139 degrees. It's a navigational heading of 311, standard angle of 139.